Hello everyone, it's time to look at another cordless vacuum cleaner today and this one is from Vax. It's the Vax Evolve cordless vacuum and it uses the Vax One Power System battery. If you're watching this in the USA or Canada, you'll know this under the Hoover brand because Vax UK and Hoover in the US are under the same company. So sometimes they share the same design. So it's not a copy of a Hoover, it's basically the same, it's just the one that we get in the United Kingdom. Here's everything out of the box. We get the cleaner body itself, the handle, the one power battery charging cradle, a four amp one power battery, and of course the user guide. This particular machine has a three year guarantee, but remember to register it with VAX and also keep your proof of purchase should you need to make a claim within those three years. So all we have to do to start, first of all, we have to charge the battery. VAX say about three hours for a full charge. So before you use the machine, make sure the battery is fully charged. We need to attach the handle as well. And then I can do a bit of a demonstration. After plugging in the charger, slide the battery into the cradle for the full charge. When the white light stops pulsating, you'll know that the battery is fully charged. You can also check the status of the battery by pressing the button on the top. The Vax Evolve comes almost fully assembled apart from the handle. Before you insert the handle, you'll see a little sticker to remove. That is reminding you to register your product with Vax for the full three year warranty. I suggest you do that just to make sure if there's any problems, you know that uh, Vax have got your machine registered and also keep your proof of purchase. So the handle just fits in with no tools. You just slot it down. Make sure this part of the handle is at the front of the cleaner and just slot it into the opening at the top. Press it down, there'll be a slight resistance and you'll hear a click and now the handle is attached. If at any time you want to remove the handle, there's a small hole here. Simply put a blunt instrument like a, a small screwdriver, press that in and then you'll be able to release the handle. This Vax Evolve is more like a small upright vacuum cleaner rather than the traditional stick type cordless machines. So this is ideal for whipping around your house, for cleaning your carpets and your hard floors. I think at a push, you could also clean your stair carpeting with it, but because it's just an upright, you can't use it in the car and it's not very good for above floor cleaning. For example, you couldn't use it on your curtains or your nooks and crannies. But if you're looking for a machine just to whip around your house in super fast time, if you just want to clean your kitchen floor, if you want to vacuum your living room, your downstairs and just take it up to do the bedrooms, I'm sure this will be ideal. It is very light, although I don't have the battery attached. So let's have a, a look around the machine itself. After the battery's charged, I'll put down some dirt and we'll see how well this cleaner performs on carpet and hard floors. This is the business end of the Vax Evolve with the rotating brush bar. Now it's not an anti-hair wrap brush bar, but it is easily removable for cleaning should pet or human hair become wrapped around the brushes. And you can remove it without the need of tools. You simply move this to the unlocked position and then it'll just slide out. And then as you can see, you've got full access to the brush bar. There's even slits in it, which enable you to pass scissors or a knife along these slits in order to remove the hair. And you must keep that clean. Maybe do it once a month or so. It depends if you've got pets or people with long hair, you might not have to clean it quite so often. But they're nice stiff brushes and it's a very well designed helix brush bar. So I can imagine that will be pretty effective at cleaning. With the brush roll removed, we can check for any blockages and occasionally you can give this clear part a wipe out just so it uh, keeps it nice and clean so you can see the brush bar revolving. But of course, after a few weeks or months of use, this lovely clear part will become cloudy with the action of the dirt and grit scratching against it as you use the machine. You've got two little rollers at the front and two wheels at the back with quite a nice tire on them. So that'll be ideal for when you're cleaning hard floor surfaces. You've also got a velour strip here at the back and a large groove at the front 
which helps pick up larger debris, especially on hard floors. To replace the brush bar, simply slide it into the machine, making sure it's fitted over the spindle at this side. And then take this part here and lock it into position. Make sure the arrow is pointing at the locked padlock. So just click it and it's locked and your cleaner is ready for use. Should you get a blockage in this internal hose, you can remove it for easier access. Just press this button here. You have to press it quite hard and then the hose springs free and you can see if you've got a blockage in the hose. Once you've cleared any blockage, you can just pop the hose back in until it clicks into position. This is the dirt bin that has a large 1.2 litre capacity, which is quite a bit larger than many cordless vacuums. To remove it from the cleaner, you've got a little switch here. Simply press that with your thumb and then the whole unit comes away from the machine. To empty out the dirt, press this button, the flap opens and you can empty the dirt out of the cleaner. Of course, it's got a filter which is located in the top of the bagless unit. Press this catch to open the lid and you can see the filter here which just pulls out for easy cleaning. If you want to give the separator a clean that also comes out. Just remove it and then you can use a soft brush or a cloth to remove any hairs or debris around the separator cone. You can also at this point, if you want to, from time to time, give the bin a quick rinse out, but make sure any parts that you rinse or clean, make sure they're dry before you assemble them back on the machine. It's very important that the filter is 100% dry before putting it back into the top of the cyclone. You'll notice on the back of the dirt bin, a handy guide showing you how to clean the filter and how to clean the separator. Once the bin's emptied to place it back on the machine, Put it on an angle like so and press it forward until it clicks into position. Once the one power battery is fully charged, we can place it into the machine. It fits here at the back. Simply slot it into place, press it down until it clicks. The on off and mode switches are located next to the battery and enable you to select hard floor, carpet or brush off. VACs are claiming a 35 minute runtime with the Evolve, but that doesn't state whether that's with the brush roll on or off. So um, I expect you might get slightly less runtime with this machine with the brush roll running, but I'm not sure until I've used it for a bit longer. Well, let's give it an initial go on my carpet here. To recline the handle, you need to place your foot on the base and recline the handle backwards and we'll switch on. I need to be in carpet mode. Well, it's relatively quiet and uh, pretty easy to push on this short pile carpet. There's no visible dirt, but let's see what we've picked up. And it has actually found some dirt. Let's open up the container. And you can see there it's found some fluff or pet hairs. Oh, there's quite a lot in there. That wasn't visible on this part of carpet. That's just in the small time I've been using the machine. So um, yeah, first impressions. It might be the ideal choice if you just want a light and handy machine for whipping around your house, just for the general quick cleanup. I wouldn't say this would replace a mains powered vacuum, but if you live in a small home or flat, it could be all you need to clean all your carpets and floors. Obviously, for doing your upholstery and inside your car, you will need another machine. But 
The thing I like about this form factor, the weight is lower down. So when you're actually using the machine, it is very, very light in the hand. If you struggle using a traditional cordless where you're holding the motor unit high up, you might find this style of machine is more suited to your needs. It is very, very easy to push and very light in the hand. Okay, well, I know a lot of you watch this channel like to see a demo. So we can see that it's, it cleans pretty well on a clean looking carpet. It did find some dirt. Let's see how it does with a lot of visible dirt. So I'll put some dirt down in this bedroom here and then I'll go downstairs and see how the Vax Evolve copes on a hard floor. Well, the Vax Evolve has certainly done a good job on this short pile carpet. I can't see any visible dirt. Even looking close, I can't see any of the black sand. And all the dirt that was on the carpet is now in the bin. And it is a nice large capacity. We're not even up to the max fill line yet, almost. That's the max fill line where my finger is. But that's all the dirt I've picked up. Let's have a look at it. That's quite a pile of muck. Now, before I go into the kitchen and try this on a hard floor, <laughs> I'm gonna give it the ultimate test. I'm gonna leave this big pile of dirt and just see if it's going to be able to pick it all up in one go. It's a bit of, bit of an extreme test. So if it fails at this, well, I wouldn't be surprised, but for general day-to-day -day use, I think this Vax will be pretty good. Again, especially if you have trouble using a standard stick type cordless cleaner if you want something for whipping round. Judging by this performance, I think this Vax Evolve might suit you very well. Okay, well I'm in the kitchen now and I've recycled the mess I picked up in the bedroom upstairs and spread it over this cushion vinyl floor. So I'm going to do two paths initially. I'm going to use the machine with the brush off 
That's useful if you've got any delicate floors, so you've got suction only. And then I'm going to use it on the hard floor mode, which includes the rotating brush. But on hard floor mode, the brush rotates slower than it does when in carpet mode. Okay, I'm all completely messy now underfoot. So, I'll start off on hard floor mode, and then I'll do an area with the brush off. So that's a pretty good result, a fairly clean sweep and I didn't detect very much snow ploughing because we do have this groove at the top. Just here there is an extra groove that enables larger debris to be collected. So that was on the hard floor setting. I'm going to try it suction only with the brush off. And yes, you obviously need the brush for the best results because there's a definite line here of dirt. In fact, that's the black sand mainly that's not been picked up. Although on suction only, with the brush off, it does boost the suction motor. So there's a little bit more suction. But obviously for best results, most floors can be cleaned using the hard floor setting. I'm pretty pleased with the performance of the Vax Evolve on my hard floor, although it's not so good on the suction only setting with the brush roll off. You really do need the brushing action for the best results. One thing I like about this cordless machine, when I'm using it on this cushion vinyl, it's very quiet. It doesn't seem to be scraping across the floor like so many vacuum cleaners I've used on a hard floor. You feel that they're scratching the floor. But a combination of these soft wheels and the little rollers at the front make it very maneuverable and very smooth. And I don't think it's damaging the floor, even a, a cushion vinyl like this. So all in all, a cleaner for whipping around your home, just for doing your hard floors and your carpets. As I said, I think at a push you could use this on stairs. It is that light. You could hold it, I suppose, lower down and then use it on the stairs if you can manage it. But its main advantage is just for quickly whipping around the house. I'm sure the battery power will be more than enough for sort of the average three bedroom semi to do every room, all the bedrooms, bathroom, the living room, dining area, kitchen area. I think it's pretty good. And 
yeah, it's a keeper for me. It's a, a very handy little machine. Obviously, not for above floor, just for floors and carpets. But if you're looking for something for just your floors and carpets that's light to hold in the hand, has a large capacity, as we can see, then this could be one to go for, especially if you have any other VAX products with the one power battery. So if you have the Glide hard floor washer, for example, and the battery runs out on this when you're using it, but you've got another battery charged up from your floor washer, then just pop it in and you can carry on cleaning. You can buy uh, batteries as well if you want a spare battery. I think they're about 80 pounds if you want a spare one. So yeah, all in all, I think it's a, a good little machine. Now, obviously during the course of my demonstration, I've messed up my cleaner a bit. So I will give this a wipe out. As I showed you earlier, it's easy enough to just remove the brush roll. I'm gonna wipe that out with a damp cloth and uh, reassemble it so that'll be back to normal. Let's have a look at the filter. I haven't cleaned very much so far with it, but we can get a rough idea. Some of the fine dust has got through the initial cyclone. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's have a look at the filter, see how that's coped. Well, Yes, I haven't used this cleaner much, but I have picked up an extreme amount of dirt, both on carpet and hard floor. And that filter, there's a stray hair there, dog hair. That filter is still pretty clean. Very good. So, and this is the other side. Well, you can see the other side, actually. I'll show you the other side. This is the side that is faces out so this is where the exhaust air passes through so that's the cleaner side but we can see to be fair look a little bit of dirt has started building up on that filter but it is washable if you want to buy a spare filter you can go to vax website it's always advisable to get a spare because then when you're washing your initial filter and when you're waiting for it to dry you can't use the machine so if you have a spare filter you can pop that in i wish more manufacturers of bagless cleaners would supply two filters it would make a lot of sense in my book so there we go i'll empty that shortly but i'll just pop it back for now yes so there you go that's the vax evolve i think it's an improvement on the blade i'm not so keen on the vax blade but of course the blade is a bit more versatile because you can use it as a handheld as well and do your stairs and furniture with it but if it's just carpets and floors and you want something light, easy to handle, that's cordless, then personally, yes, I would have a look at the Vax Evolve. If you have any comments or questions about this cordless upright, please comment below, and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now, and thanks for watching.